I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Definitely, in the beginning, I had no intention uh, or, or whatsoever that what I, what I was practicing and what I'm still practicing now, but martial art has a very, very deep meaning as far as my life is concerned because as an actor, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial art. Martial art include all the combative arts like karate or Judo. karate, judo, Chinese Kung Fu or Chinese boxing, whatever you call it. Uh, all those, you see, like Aikido, Korean, I can go on and on and on. But it's a combative form of fighting. I mean, it's not, some of them became sport, but some of them are still not. I mean, they use, for instance, kicking to the groin, jabbing fingers at the eyes and things like that. To me, uh, at least the way that, when, I mean, when I teach it, all type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. So therefore, they are coming in to, I mean, for, uh, and ask me to teach them not so much of how to defend themselves or how to do somebody in. Rather, they want to learn to express themselves through some movement, be it anger, determination, or whatsoever. So in other words, what I'm saying, therefore, is that he is paying me to show him in combative form the art of expressing the human body. So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony, not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. So styles tends to not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know. But if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know. I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. I mean, that is the expression of the human body. I mean, the f everything, I mean, you know, not just the hand. And when you're talking about combat, if it is a sport, now, now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules. But when you're talking about fighting as it is, oh, rules. with no rules, real fighting. well then, baby, you better train every part of your body. And when you do punch, now I'm leaning forward a little bit, yeah. hoping not to hurt any camera angle. I mean, you gotta put the whole hip into it and snap it and get all your energy in there and make this into a weapon. It's a kind of a slow form of exercise, which is called Tai Chi Chuan. I'm speaking Mandarin just now. Cantonese, Tai Ge Kun, <laughs> okay? And uh, it's more of an exercise for the elderly. I mean, the so hand-wise is very slow. Oh, is it? And you push it out, but all the time you are keeping the continuity going. Bending, stretching, everything. You know, suppose, you know, I mean, you, you just keep it moving. To them, you see, the idea is running water never grows stale. So you gotta just keep on flowing. Now, as a fighter, Steve, Steve McQueen, now, he is good in that department because that son of a gun got the toughness in him. I mean, he would say, all right, baby, here I am, man, you know, and he'll do it. Now, James Coburn is a peace-loving man, right? I mean, yeah. you've met him. I mean, he's really, really nice. I mean, yeah. super m mellow and all that. Yeah, I mean, yes. you know, I mean, now, he appreciates the philosophical part of it. Therefore, his understanding of it is deeper than Steve. To me, okay, 
to me. Ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then yeah. feel like pretty cool and all that. Make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it, or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, now, that, my friend, is very hard to do. And you have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm going to do it, man. And I'm going to do it, you see. So, I mean, so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it. To become one with the... You think? I said, empty your mind. Be formless shapeless like water now you put water into a cup it becomes the cup you put water into a bottle it becomes the bottle you put it in a teapot it becomes the teapot now water can flow or it can crash be water my friend so thank you all so much for watching this video if you haven't already please go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and let us know what you thought down in the comment section below